And we're going to calculate the minimum angular resolution, aka diffraction limited resolution. We are given the Hubble Space Telescope, which has an average wavelength of 500 nanometers and a diameter of 2.4 meters. We want to find the diffraction limited resolution or minimum angular resolution. We have an equation, theta is equal to 1.220 multiplied by the wavelength divided by the diameter, and we're going to want to convert this from radians because theta is going to be given to you after you solve it in units of radians, and we want to convert it into arc seconds, the angle that we measure in the sky from our eyes looking at objects in the sky or even from a telescope looking at the sky. So let's go ahead and rewrite the equation and solve. So here's our theta is equal to 1.220 multiplied by the wavelength divided by the diameter. We need to substitute in for the wavelength and we need to substitute in for the diameter and then we need to solve. So I went ahead and substituted in 1.220 multiplied by 500 nanometers divided by 2.4 meters and now we need to solve it. So you're gonna multiply the numbers 1.220 multiply by 500 and divide by 2.4. Let's go ahead and do that. So we take 1.220, we're gonna multiply by 500 and divide by 2.4. And we have a value of 254.17. But notice that we cannot cancel the units. We need to put a conversion in. So we need to be able to get into meters from nanometers so we can cancel out our units. So there is 10 to the ninth nanometers in one meter. So we need to multiply by one and then we need to divide by 10 to the ninth. So let's go ahead and multiply by one and divide by 1 EE9 because 10 to the 9th is the same on the calculator as 1 EXP9. We hit the equal sign and we have a value of 2.54 times 10 to the minus 7th. So now we can write this down. 2.54 times 10 to the minus 7th. Now that we multiplied all of our values out, we have to make sure that we have the correct units. So we'll change our pen color. Our meters crosses out with meters, our nanometer crosses out with nanometers, and sure enough, we are left with radians as our units. So now we have to carry this down because we want to convert out of radians and we want to put it in terms of arc seconds. So we're going to carry down our 2.54 times 10 to the seventh our unit is radians, and we're going to multiply that by the conversion. And that conversion is 206.265 arc seconds divided by one radian. And I'm just going to put rad here for short. So now we want to take our 2.54 times 10 to the minus 7, multiply by 206265. So we say multiply by 206265 equals, and there was a divide by 1. And we're left with 0 0.0524 as our answer. So I carry that down. 0. 0.0524 arc seconds. And that is our answer. Our theta minimum is 0 0.0524 arc seconds. Now the Hubble Space Telescopes actually takes images at near resolution limit of 0.1 arc seconds, which is about double this value. And so here we're looking at the Butterfly Nebula. It is a planetary nebula, and it is showing you in 
the average wavelength band of 500 nanometers. So where you see pinks, they are really the color pink. Wherever you see oranges, they really are the color orange. We are looking at it in true color. So it's not in the limit. We are in the near resolution limit, limit or double the limit value of 0.1 arc seconds. But this gives you an idea of how to calculate the minimum angular resolution or the diffraction limited resolution. In our example is the Hubble Space Telescope. So the Hubble Space Telescope will be able to resolve things in the sky so long as the angle between two objects is greater than 0.0542 arc second